Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kordam. We are going to continue our run of Rogue Trader. In the previous episode, we started exploring the upper way after some fights in the previous section. That's why we have some old injuries and some traumas. Some of them could probably have been avoided, others not so much. We leveled up, so quickly, just going to level up all of my characters here. Uh, I don't know why this is on Vanguard, but okay. Um, this should actually be a simple one we get a special ability, which is essentially a modifier for our heroic acts. So, the target of Finest Hour gains more bonuses. During their extra turn, the target deals more damage, and until the end of combat, the target gains the effect of Voice of Command. Seems interesting, but not that interesting. Uh, this plus damage is also kind of sad in the description, because it doesn't say how much, but sure. <laughs> All negative effects are immediately removed from the target, and until the end of the officer's next turn, the target cannot die. Cool. Support option. The target gains plus 3 times the officer's fellowship bonus temporary wounds until the end of combat. I think it's... medium-ish. And the target of finest tower gains more bonuses. So during the next turn, any kill made by the target restores one action point and one movement point, up to fellowship bonus times. I like this. And the target can redirect the ability with their remaining AP and MP to another target. Now, this is the kind of thing that, based on my experience so far, I fully expect to be broken and not working properly. At least this part down here. But even if just for the first section of this, I'm gonna try it out. Because it's the one I like the most given the available options. For Mr. Pascal as an operative, dismantling attack upgrade. Until the operative's next turn, the target cannot move and the target's MP are reduced by minus three. I'm not sure. I'm, I imagine this second part is until the end of combat, right? Because it, it doesn't make sense to be in the same uh, turn. Because if you can't move, MP is irrelevant. Uh, it also cripples the enemy, reducing their weapon skill and ballistic skill by minus 30 until the end of combat. This is cool. Also intimidates enemies in a 5 cell radius around the target, reducing their dodge and armor by 15% until the end of combat. This is also quite nice. And the target also provokes an attack opportunity whenever it attacks. This seems very lineup dependent. I don't really have a lot of people for attacks of opportunity besides Abelard and maybe to a certain extent Pascal. Um, so I'm kind of between these three. If the enemy is melee, this could be useful. If the enemy is not melee, this is like a defensive option, this is an offensive option. I think I will go for this one because it affects people in a five cell radius. I think it could be a little bit more interesting. And as for skills, I'm going to be putting points in Tech, Use and Logic. That's him done. Moving to Abelard. Daring Breach also grants plus 10 movement points until the end of the turn. The Warrior does not provoke attacks of opportunity this turn. Sounds nice. Until the end of combat, the Warrior gains plus 4 MP for each kill and may use their MP after attacking or using abilities. Uh, again, plus 4 MP for each kill until end of combat. What does this mean? Does it stack? I don't know. <laughs> um, for one round, the warrior becomes the priority target for every enemy hit by their melee attacks. And also the warrior gains plus 20% parry and plus 2 deflection until the end of combat. I like this a lot. And this turn, melee attacks deal an additional warrior strength bonus divided by 2 damage. I think the more interesting ones are definitely this one and this one. Allowing him to kind of move around the battlefield and just hit people without triggering attacks of opportunity sounds useful. This one, I guess, depends on how exactly this works because this wording is not entirely clear to me. But this one is the one I like the most. Giving him plus 20% parry and 2 deflection till the end of combat, plus taunting every enemy hit. I think is a very good option. Moving on to Argenta. Until the end of the soldier's turn, they gain plus 4 movement points and their attacks do not spend MP. 
interesting to move around. Until the end of combat, the soldier's rate of fire is increased by 30%. Sounds very nice. Until the end of combat, all of the soldier attacks are 20% harder to dodge. And until the end of combat, they all gain 10% armor penetration. Also quite nice. And until the end of soldier's turn, each of their area attacks deals additional damage equal to the number of attack targets. This one seems very specific. I think the one I like the most is this one here. Because if this works... When we activate Firearm Mastery, we can probably get an additional attack out of our Heroic Act. So I like this one a lot. It's, it's between these two for me. I'm going to go for this one. Moving to Idira. So the same logic as Mr. Pascal. Uh, I'm simply thinking if I want um, this one or this one. I think this one shouldn't particularly matter that much. It's it's defensive. I think I will still go for this one. Maybe having two people with the same thing might not be too interesting. But I think if I ever change up my party, Pascal is probably the one... Taking the cut. I'll, I will go still for this one here. And as for skills, let me check what I was doing. I had some tech use. I had some lore warp. Logic. She does have... Uh... Can she use medkits? Let me just check this before I forget. She can use medkits, so I don't really need to give her medicay. Although it wouldn't be bad for someone to have medicay, honestly. Yeah, sure, go for medicay. And then we'll see. And finally, for Miss Cassia, I feel like I'm gonna go for the same thing. Or I can go for a little bit of support also, I suppose. No, lies. This one. And if I get a chance to further improve Finest Hour on her, I will go for support. And on my main character, I can go for something more offensive. Level ups are done. Let's move on. It's about time. Something large and heavy plowed down the entire width of the street. You can only guess what could have caused such damage. Ah, we had also um, met... Where is he? This guy here, Private Camille Regias, which seems kind of fishy. Let's see where he leads us. The temple's tower collapsed onto the pavement and is blocking the way. It will take days to clear the rubble. The whisper has told me a secret. Some cargo... None shall stand in my way. The temple door does not budge. It may be blocked by rubble from the other side. It is. We have X-ray vision. <laughs> Tech use, 95%. Good, some cargo. This shuttle must be what crashed into the building and destroyed part of the street. There are traces of a recent battle everywhere, including bodies in planetary guard uniforms. Awareness. <laughs> Would you look at that? So there's a trap. But the soldiers' bodies in the general aftermath of the battle suggest that the attackers knew the squad's numbers, ranks, and movement route precisely. So maybe they Oh it's a cutscene. Oh. The young man sighs. The remains of my squad. Once we've put down the rebellion, they'll be given the last honors they deserve as soldiers fallen in righteous battle. Yeah, the battlefield looks highly suspicious. Half of your comrades never even had the chance to draw their weapons. And the direction of the shots as well. The attackers knew exactly what path the group would take and how large it would be. The enemy is smart and cunning. Perhaps they were watching us. I must report this to the governor. Hmm. So even though we find it suspicious, we can't do anything else. Maybe there's like a hidden check that we didn't pass. Okay then, well, glory to the fallen warriors, they will not be forgotten, let's keep walking. Yes, your lordship. 
Okay, so we will want Argenta to move ahead idle, and disarm this tram. Grows. Hopefully. I better myself oh, my nice. Service. Pamphlets and booklets are strewn around the dormant cogitator, imploring the reader to devote their life to serving the Emperor in the ranks of the Astra Militarum. The Emperor protects. <laughs> Errant rubbish lies scattered between the seats covered in stone dust, old programs, faded tickets and food scraps of unknown origin. I won't tolerate weakness. Please, follow me. You have arrived at your destination, and now you will die. For Aurora and the final dawn. Yeah, figured. Figured. You little bitch. Submit, and you'll die quickly. I yeah. will take you down. Okay, so this is dangerous because we have been ambushed. So we cannot reposition our party. Now, since I played the early axis, I can tell you what can happen here. If you pass some checks, I'm assuming some kind of hidden checks while you are discussing issues with this guy you can actually just outright say that he's not who he is he's lying and you can just kill him on the spot also and when you come up to this point uh you will not get ambushed you will still get this fight but not with him and not in an ambush situation okay so seize the initiative might help out a little bit here I was thinking about maybe giving it to Argenta, an extra turn, I mean. See if she can deal some damage here. But my fear is that given that she's not in the proper position, burst fire might hit our friends. But I think I will still go for that. Because if I go for Abelard, he can just hit this guy once and that's basically it. Although he can also cast Endure. Maybe keep him alive a little bit longer. But we are in such a bad spot, honestly. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go for the defensive option here, I feel. So, bring it down on Avalard. And we are gonna get Brace for Impact. Be Why do I have four action points? What? It begins. Bring it down. With action points equal to 2. I don't know if 2 is just the static amount or if it scales. It's underlined but it doesn't say anything. Yet he got 4. I... I don't get it. But, okay. So yeah, Brace for Impact, getting extra deflection. Victory is imminent. I feel will help everybody in the region except Cassia, which is not in range apparently. And let me see what I can do. I can push the enemy away. Not sure if it has much of a benefit, but I can do it. I could charge someone, maybe bring their attention over to that location instead of onto my party. But again, this is only something I can do because I have more action points than I should. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Okay, I guess we can try that. I can come over here. Over there. Of course. And now I can simply smack this guy in the face. I will do my duty. And then cast Endure. And, and pass the no. turn. My ears are ringing. We can reposition our leader here. Give me a second. Okay, I think they are supposed to get some movement points as well, so that that My seems to be okay. So you can go over there. Now, Mr. Pascal. 
What are we doing with you, my friend? <coughs> we have several people with exploits. I could go for tactical knowledge. This would increase the armor of everybody in my party and also buff his damage. I could also go for Machine Spirit Communion, which can buff and debuff at the same time, but this would spend all of my action points. Oh, actually, no. I still have one action point left. Okay, so I like this. We are going to buff everyone here. And also debuff some of the enemies. He, let me just move first in case this cancels out movement for some weird reason. So I can come over here. Fury we shall buff. My vow is to serve. Okay, so. Since Abela, um, Pascal is new here, let me just check what I had here. Yeah, this one here. While Pascal is under the effects of Machine Spirit, communion his melee attacks do an additional 20 damage and gain 20% armor penetration. That's kind of insane amounts of damage. Yeah, 35 to 38. It's no joke. Even a shot. No. Oh, me What? It's melee attacks only, right? Melee attacks, okay. That makes sense, then. Um, other than that, I want to go for tactical knowledge. Running by okay, so what do we have? Tactical knowledge. All allies gain plus two times the number of removed exploits percentage armor until the end of combat. And I think we got four, which means everybody gets 8% extra armor. Correct. And then we also had a feature for him. Uh, where was it? This one. Whenever the operative triggers an exploit on an enemy, the operative gains plus one damage and armor penetration. So how can I check my damage? Can I see it on the weapon? No. 40 to 43. It does seem like it increased. Okay. Smack. 99% chance to hit. You guys saw that, right? He rolled a 2. <laughs> he rolled a 2. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. I'm used to this. Okay, Argenta gets to play. I've kind of set up my positioning to mess up her shots as well, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, there are also people down there. Holy crap. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. We have a fire starter, and I don't like fire starters because they will breed fire on your party. I will well, not breed fire, they will use a flamethrower, but you get the idea. I'll try to focus on him. What does a single shot do? 23% chance. It's so poor. Okay. Let's try it like this. And then probably run gun and do it again. I'm thinking about if I want to use run and gun or not. I think I will save my run and gun for later. Doubt is for the weak. <sighs> Because I am planning on giving her extra turns, and I don't want her to be winded. How did this one miss? It hit cover. What cover? He doesn't have any cover. Yep, here comes the fire. Okay, Idira. 
Let's see what we can do with Idira. Well, first of all, I can position her in a defensive spot, such as this one. But oh, not Idira, sorry, it's Cassia, it's Cassia. So if we're talking about Cassia, I think I want to give Reveal the Light to... Actually, to Idira. Just give her extra will points. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay. And you can stay here. What can I do with this? I can actually hit three people with this. What if I move here? If I move there, I hit Argenta. And if I move here, I'm still fine. Okay, so I will do this. If I may. Okay, good. One kill. One stun. The other one did not get stunned, but that's mostly fine, I would say. Voice of Command on Argenta and passive turn. Now, as for Idira. Idira got the willpower bonus. Nineteen HP on those rebels. Can I hit with a lightning arc over there? I can. Okay. So here's the plan. Forewarning on Abelard. Was was that you? Or Iron Arm on Pascal. Was of course. Move over here and lightning arc these two guys and hopefully pain channeling will deal damage to someone else as well. What is this foreboding? Yep. This guy went down. He didn't die actually. He has some weird status on him. I can't see what it is. Because of reasons. Sure. This guy came up. This guy is shooting. My turn again. Okay, so... Servant on Argenta. Nothing I can't do. Air of Authority. Done. Shoot somebody in the face. He's stunned. Those are dead, so shoot here. Nothing I can't do. I'm actually wondering if the if the sniper would also would also not be a good choice for um, for Argenta. Not a problem for me. Okay, so bring it down. 64% chance. I mean, there's no cover here, right? I'm not seeing things. So <laughs> let's see if this works. Let's try and burst this guy. I'll do it. Not not gonna complain too much about this. Uh, run and gun. Single shot there. As the emperor commands, I act. Good. Furious recital. It. Decent. I will. Pass the turn. Mr. Abelard. I actually can't do a lot with him, which is a little bit sad. Because I can't charge... Well, I can I can charge over there, but that's it. So this guy is the only person in, you know, close proximity. I'm not sure if I want to move up too much. I guess I can, because they have no cover and we do have cover. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one for someone else, like Pascal. And I'm gonna try and kill that one right now. So, I can charge over there. Or, I can just do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Okay, not dead. Reduce the dust. Dead. Indeed. Endure. And pass. Do your worst. 
is part of the trial. I don't like burning. I wish I could go over there to be in cover. But alas, I cannot. So what am I doing here? Ugh. Really? A 2% chance to hit? Okay, I will just kill this guy here then. And actually, does this does this stack? Because it says all allies will gain a certain percentage. I don't know if it stacks. Everybody currently has 8%. So let me see. If I do analyze enemy. He now has 7 exploits. Tactical knowledge on only him. Ah, okay. So this one stacks. This one apparently does not stack. Not exactly sure what the difference is, but... Advancing. He hits hard. Okay, so let's check it out. Armor. We have plus 22%, so it... Okay, it did stack. But this tactic knowledge, I think this is what? This is like the damage we deal? From our talent? So... Damage... We dealt 21 on our base damage. Critical damage plus 11. Damage modifiers plus 12. Uh... 8 from strength. Skirmish protocols gives me plus 14% damage. Oh, this is not what I'm thinking about. The one I'm thinking about is different, right? Tactical knowledge. Okay, right here. Plus 11. So this is the one that counts. Okay, so I don't know what this 7 is. Because these say the same thing, they're both called tactical knowledge, but they have a different symbol. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. We have an heroic act, good. Uh, right now I can't really do much besides shoot at these guys here. I'm thinking if I want to burst or single shot. I guess I'll single shot here. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay. Not unexpected. Cassia, if you go here, can you No. The lidless stare is very, very poor. Okay, so in that case I think I'll just buff. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I'm take not this, take that. Take an extra turn. If things work properly, I would have some movement points to go into cover, but I do not. I think I will analyze this guy and continue increasing our attacks. Running by Derek we're up to 19. Request approved. Yeah, I like this. Man, this is very good. Operatives are no joke. Yeah, and there she goes. She has more movement points because magic. I have read tomes of military tactics. Okay, so go over there and pass the turn. Idira. Not much for you to do. So, take some defenses. Yeah, no way this reaches. Yeah. Take some defenses as well. We'll do. Analyze. Was, was that you? And we simply pass. 
you little bitch. Okay. So Pascal has voice of command. She has voice of command. She does not. Neither does Abelard. Okay. So she's too far away for this. Suits my purposes. Let's do this. Head of authority. All too easy. And I feel just shoot this guy. Can I shoot the ones below? No. Are they even playing? Because they, are, they aren't moving. Okay, 15 damage. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Yeah, so... One, two, three, four. We cannot endure. So, let's not do this. Victory is imminent. It's a good spot because we are behind heavy cover as well. Endure and pass. Let's see if the guys below move. No, they aren't they aren't moving. It's like they're not even playing. I don't know why. Um but okay. So let's move over here. And analyze I'm gonna do this a lot because this is very, very good. Nine charges. What kind of value are we at right now? We have 56% more armor. <laughs> and we have 28 more damage. Jesus. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, I like that. Well, I do need you to go and disarm that because otherwise we can't do much. So just go Lord over there move through me. Be the fire in my and heart. run and gun to move a little bit further. And we pass the turn, right? Yes. Cassia can go over here. Navigator, and not a again, six action points. I don't know why. Did I give her ebb and flow? I did not. So, yeah, I don't understand why that is. Buff thyself, woman. And just shoot somebody. Pew, pew, pew. If I may. Yay, we hit somebody, nice. Um <coughs> pass. Edita, same logic. Move up. In the Empyrean. Give our people some defenses here. But of course. Anything is. Pass. Move up. And you take this. Suits my purposes. Not my specialty. And that. And pass. Abelard, you can just stay right there. Uh, unless I actually you can actually shoot somebody, right? Okay. Let's just shoot this guy then. I will do my duty. Sure. At your back and call. In dude and pass. Oh, now he moved. Damn it. Now they're behind cover, which sucks. Uh, let's also bring you over here. Happy is the dread of his faithful. This one I can't see. Yep, but this one I can. I, I will just keep doing this. There's no reason not to. Ah, by the way, this lasts until end of combat. I think it does. So it's just a really, really big bonus. Ah, damn it. Okay. No range. Burst. Burst. 
What? Huh? Okay, the animation was bugged, I think. And I guess I hit cover with my Sintel shot. Yeah, 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 whatever, it's fine. So, I want to move you... You still cannot go there. Guided by faith! Because I need to take care of this trap. I'll do it. Pew. Nope. Can't reach. Does this even matter? I don't think so. So just shoot. Really? You can't. Pass the turn then. Move up with Idira. She still can't reach anybody. Here. Move you up. Ah, here we have one of sight actually, which is good. I shall not fear. I shall not fear. You can take air of authority. Nothing I can't do. And probably sniper shot on this guy. Fifteen. It will be done. Victory is imminent. Ow. Okay, Mr. Pascal. Just gonna burst again. Why is this animation bugged? But it's only on him. It doesn't happen on Agenta. I don't get it. But, okay. Wait, what? What do you mean, move closer? What? Move! I gotta go... <laughs> what is happening here? What is this? Game. Game, please. I'm trying to move. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Can I disarm this? Thank you. Oh my lord, man. Okay. Let's try it again, but then we're gonna move in with Abelard. As the Emperor commands, I act. Right, so she can't do anything. Idira. She can hit that guy from over there, which is not a very safe position. What about from over here? Can you? No. From here? Also no. Okay. Well, I'll just go here, I think. And hope that they focus on Abelard and not on her. Kodami. Okay. And blam. We'll do. 32 damage, it's poisoned. He doesn't die to the poison though. Okay, my turn. Can't see anybody from over there. Can't see anybody from over here. Uh, but I can do it from over here. Okay, so I think I'll just... Kill one, you just kill Never one. Yeah. Wavered in the face of adversity. Okay, good. This was poorly played. 
I should have given Idira an extra turn. She could kill him with her psychic scream and pain channeling would also help there. Yeah, that that was that was a a poor play on my part. Let me see if I can salvage it though. Okay, so extra turn for you. Actually, no, for, for Abelard is better. I am fear incarnate! So you can come over here. You can charge for some reason. Okay, so if I... No! I pressed space. Well done, me. Well done. Well done. Very well done. Well, I can charge right up to him. Which is probably what I want. Indeed. And... So this doesn't kill him. This also doesn't kill him. And shoving him will just make him outside of my range for attack opportunity. So just hit him. Will be done. And endure. At your beck and call. Smack. Okay. So this guy didn't die. The wounded young man looks at you spitefully and hisses. Your victory means nothing. Aurora will come for you. And even if she doesn't, no one will escape the final dawn. Updating data catalog. The characteristic tendency of the planetary defensive forces of Rykad Menores to run into ambushes is not a consequence of chance or negligence. It can only be explained as some twisted variation of combat tactics. This phenomenon is depressing. So you are the traitor. You led your convoy into an ambush, didn't you? <laughs> no. Your entire convoy is gone. I took that whining pup Camille's uniform. Six months with the governor's underlings taught me their ways. I had no trouble posing as one of them. I had to make sure that you scum didn't decide to turn around and fly home, instead of walking straight into the ambush. The young man rasps and spits bloody foam. Don't let it go to your head that you took us down. My comrades are many and they are coming for you. And if they are not, anyway, you'll see for yourself. Who is Aurora? What is the final dawn? Quest updated. A spark of madness flashes through the young man's eyes. Aurora is the hidden truth. No one is worthy of seeing her face. But those who are loyal to her will stand by her side at the hour of the final dawn that will consume all. They will, but not you. You are an enemy of Aurora, and so you will be vanquished. It's funny because Aurora, it's like a, a different way of saying Dawn in other words. Is it? Cordampina. Uh, Cordampina. Is Aurora Dawn in Portuguese? It is, isn't it? It's not, it's not a word we commonly use, yeah, it's but... It's also the Disney princess name. It's, all it's also like from Aurora Borealis, so it's like the Latin word for... Dawn or... Okay, so explain it again to the microphone. <laughs> so I think it's the Latin word because it's like the Disney princess name and it's like Aurora Borealis and that stuff. So, so yeah. So yeah, you heard it here first. It, it also means Dawn and it's also the name of a Disney princess. Yeah. Thank you, lover. The Sleeping yeah. Beauty. The Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's finish the wounded man. Death to heretics and traitors. I do not fear death at the hands of filthy dogs mired in their own lies. Take my soul, Aurora. She won't, but I will. Pew. There you go. Okay. Fight done. It took longer than it needed to because of those two that weren't acting and this stupid trap that I couldn't get to. But it's done now. Let's check out the loot. We have some cargo. We have something new, which we're going to look at in a second. Collect all of this. Um, ah, we have some more over I'll here. Claim to the stars. Some more goods. We should and, deal with this. Well, The Emperor favors me today. I'm proud of you. Attention! 
As ordered by the planet's lawful governor to prevent recurring rebellions, all planetary guard patrols are to be doubled. All conspirators and instigators will be harshly punished. Okay. So let's look at what we picked up here. Yeah, from newest to oldest. So we picked up a frag grenade, which is always useful, I feel. And we picked up some hand flamers. Now, hand flamers, it's a flame weapon. You need to have the proficiency for this. So I think that... I thought that Abelard did. She does. She's actually the only person that does. So Argenta can use flame weapons. Now, I think the consideration here is between a shotgun or the flamer. When it was used against me, in at least the early access, this is actually something that does a lot of damage. Because the initial damage is kind of pitiful, but then you burn for a certain amount. What that amount is, I can't really tell you, unless the game tells me here. Oh, sorry. Argenta. Join me in and swap weapon, and let's look. Affected creatures uh, uh, dealing fire damage and inflicting burning. So, a type of energy damage. Okay. A burning target suffers fire damage each round. The target also makes an agility resistant test each round. If the target succeeds on this test, it stops burning before it suffers another round of fire damage from the effect. Alternatively, the burning effect is removed at the end of combat by using certain abilities or if the character falls unconscious. Okay, so it doesn't tell me how much, so I suppose I can I can try it out and see. Um, the one thing I'm kind of afraid of is, again, playing on Unfair, the enemies have better stats. So they might just succeed in these tests very, very often, making this weapon not that great. But I am going to try it out to see if I can make it use. Yeah, dual wield them. There's no point. <laughs> so I think I'm going to give my friend here a chain sword because she can use it. And this is like a classic space marine combination. A flamer and a chain sword or a chain sword and a bolter. But we're going to try it out and see if we can make use of it or not. Uh, grenade, do you have one? I will swap one of these things. Sure. Okay. So, where are we headed? This is... Okay, this is where we were. Oh, I still have to loot the people A down there. That's true. For me? That is true. What is this? Oh, wait. They have a new kind of weapon. A stub carbine deals 12 to 18, 15% armor penetration. The rate of fire is only... Oh, it's like a... Um, it's kind of like a, a, a sniper rifle. But the range is quite short. So it's, it's kind of a sniper rifle without actually being a sniper rifle. Does anybody in my party want this? I don't think so. I think I prefer to have burst weapons on them. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it as is. Same thing of, whoop, same thing over here. The food in the stalls is covered by a thick layer of stone dust. It was all abandoned in a hurry. Ah, and by the way, the fight upstairs with the ambush also goes to show why you should be using a formation. Because if this was random, uh, well, not random, but if you followed the default one, you might have, like, your main character in the front, who might not be a melee combatant, and he would probably die. It's about time. Depending on initiative. Grant me the wisdom to perceive. Mortis. Okay. So we found something. Oh, here. Emergency injector. When the wearer must fall, must fall unconscious, <laughs> a stasis field immediately recovers toughness bonus wounds instead. The wearer loses all movement points but gains plus 30% to dodge for one round. 
Okay. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not sure if it takes precedence over other stuff that we have. Like, for example, I'm not going to remove this one for that. But I could give it to you. His toughness isn't that great, but... We have a lot of buffs for toughness. None shall stand in my so we can kind of make that work. Numerous pumps, compressors, and other machines are thrumming away on the lower levels of the Great Bridge. A blind madman. The mobile charging stations chatter and crackle. The piercing sound is easily distinguishable, even in the surrounding turmoil. Well, we have enemies here. Victory awaits. Let's let's see if this fight is done somewhat quickly, because there's not a lot of time left for this episode. Let's see. I open my eyes to the truth. Something, something. The final dawn is nigh. I can feel it. But the journal was updated. Ah, find out what's going on. The flames of rebellion have engulfed the streets of Rykad Menoris, making traversing them a dangerous endeavor. The Lord Captain must push through the war-torn city to learn what other wicked events are unfolding among the shadows of the burning capital. So we know that blind madmen aimlessly roam among the ruined streets. Heretics believe in the final dawn, a strange event that will soon bring doom to this world. And the rebels talk in raptures about Aurora, the mysterious leader of the rebellion. Right. Okay, so... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Okay, possibly not that many enemies here. Why did the camera go over here? Uh, this game. <clears throat> okay, so. Abelard. One, two, three, four. Four enemies with very low HP. This is like prime target for Idira. And one, two gunners. Three gunners. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is... I will place Abelard right here. Because I want to try and suppress this guy. And then... I would love to have Idira. Oh, wait, wait. This this actually works. Okay. Idira over there. Uh, they get to play first. If not, I would place Argento over here. But they can move up to her and smack her in the face. So that's something I don't want right now. So she can go actually into full cover here. And then I can have Cassia. Let's say in full cover as well. Pascal. Don't really want you to take the brunt of this. So I, I, I'm actually going to swap. I will bring Abelard over there and put Pascal pressuring this guy here. And finally, my character. He can stay a little further back or over here with Cassie. But if they have a flamethrower weapon, it's going to suck. So for right now, let's put him over here. Okay, let's begin. I'm not sure if she can reach. That's my... Uh, okay, I can reach her, but I would be exposed, which I don't appreciate. Okay, let, let's not expose my friend here. I will just give her Suits voice of command purposes. to buff up her stats, plus air of authority, and pass my turn here. Oh, they all move at the same time, okay. Parry. Parry, good. This guy bugged out. Okay. Oh, oh it's Argenta. I was gonna say, she can't see them? How? It's impossible. But yeah, she can see them. Um... I could go over here, but I'm going to kill them all with Argenta, uh, with Idira, so I'm not sure if there's much of a point to this. Yeah, I do believe I don't want to leave full cover, I'm just going to stay where I am. Doubt is for the so weak. just shoot this guy. Dodged. Sure. I'll do it. Run and gun. I refuse. Shoot again. As the Emperor commands, I act. He rolled a 2. <laughs> he rolled a 14. Man, these guys are gods at rolling dice. 
Right, so my turn. She has voice of command now. So I can simply give her a bring it down. Already done. And she should be able to kill all of these. Look at this guy just shaking his leg. It's just a graphical bug, but it is kind of amusing, I guess. Right, so what I want to do, I would like to not spend all of my action points to not take willpower damage from my officer because of my feet or my talent. So I would like to spend at most three action points. This does not kill them outright, but it will poison them all. And they would die after that. So I think I'll just start with that. I could have played this differently to some more... Uh, to a better effect, but I think it's fine. So do that. And now just poison them all. On it. Okay, so they're all dead, effectively. It is my turn now. Do I... I guess I'll just shoot these here so he can move without triggering a attack opportunity. All too easy. Nothing of value has So one down. I can give you voice of command. Okay. Press the turn. Edita plays again. But I guess this time I'm gonna go for that one there. So... I would say forewarning on herself because she took some damage. I don't want to take any more. But of course. Okay. Let's give this to Pascal. Anything else? And now we're gonna do analyze enemies what? for some what extra exploits. Or... And now we go for a psychic shriek. On it. Good. He missed everything. <laughs> Good for me. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna try and stun those guys if I can. I can only stun one if I shoot through here. Yeah, it's only one. Okay, well, you take this. If you insist, Lord Captain. And I am going to move over there. And I can cast a Lidless Stare. I'll just kill everything over here, but doesn't really matter. Killing more is better than killing less. Very nice. Now, Abelard is going to start hitting these guys over here. I would love to be able to charge that one. And I can. Man, if he shoves me down and I die, that would be something. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> but I'm also not sure. Uh, brace for impact. Since I can four. affect... No. I wanted to do it over there, but it's not a big deal. Smack him in the face. They are both using ranged weapons, so I'm not going to bother too much with Endure here. And this guy is stunned as well. So, Power Swing, I feel, is the best option here. I will do. Good. Now, you, sir, are likely very dead. He just straight up dies, without any buffs even. Okay. Damn. Okay, this guy does a lot of damage, man. A lot of damage. Um, I suppose I can buff us up, why not? Okay, that's a turn. And I would love to try out my Flamer. 
But I don't think I'll have the choice. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Uh, with the positions that I currently have. Okay, let's let's not force this interaction. If we get an opportunity for it, I will take it. If not, Rejoice we'll just, you know, just continue playing normally. I I don't even know what else to expect from Argenta at this point. She just misses everything, basically. Um, do you have voice of command? You do not. Idira does, but it doesn't make a difference. I don't think, at least. Okay, line of sight, good. That's okay. Nothing I can't do. Suits my purposes. Can you reach this guy? She actually can. Okay, good. Anything else? So we'll do that. And burst him down. Almost. Well, <laughs> now I can. But of course. He would die to poison. The only reason why I'm doing this is to pain channel for that one over there. Very nice. It's a shame that pain channeling does not also poison. It would be a lot cooler. Smack! Wait. I saw 11 damage and another 17 damage. My sight is true and I couldn't read it. Ah, my sight is true and my mind is clear. I see death, I see the future. A disorganized rebel should not be capable of bringing down a world like Rikad Menoris. Is the governor exerting every effort to restore order here? I am not convinced. Okay, so we will simply pick up the... Ah, okay, okay, okay. So he took a hit from Abelard for 17 damage and then he took aftershock damage from Idira. Okay, it makes sense. I'm just gonna pick up the loot. And we're gonna close up this episode. This one wasn't too bad. A few minor, you know, weird interactions and glitches and animation bugs and other bugs and. <laughs> but not too, too bad. And we're making progress, that's what matters, I guess. The and the story is cool. If the governor is sincere in his faith and service to the emperor, then I am confident that he is doing everything within his power. Right, so this will be the end of this episode, my friends. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me, watching some Rogue Trader. If you have any questions, suggestions, anything like that, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.